Hello, and welcome to another Thief 2 Fan mission. This is Plagiarism. Uh, that's actually the name of the mission. And uh, I don't believe it has a briefing, so I'm going to read out the text from the reading. Last night, as you sat nursing your ale in the crippled barrack, a stranger approached you. He sat down and dropped a bag of silver coins onto the table in front of you. Interested as ever by the sight of money, you turned your attention to him. He introduced himself as Gillum, the playwright. You smoked yourself. Gillum's known in the city as a pretentious amateur at best, able to persuade only the most desperate nobodies to perform his unimaginative and contrived plays. Gillum heard that Randall Gray, one of the city's most celebrated playwrights, is working on a new script, and has hired you to steal the unfinished manuscript for him. Gillum hopes to publish Randall's play under his own name and become rich and famous amongst the city's literati. Even with the manuscript in his hands, you reflect that Gillum is far more likely to become notorious as a plagiarist than, a fam than famous as a playwright. Still, you're not one to turn down a paint job. Especially recently, now that Sheriff Truett is zealously cracking down on professionals like you. Your retirement fund is sadly depleted, and the rent's due in two days' time. Randall Gray lives in Church Alley, a small, poor district of the city. The watch president will be lighter than in rich areas, and this job shouldn't be too difficult. Perhaps you can even pick up a little reward for yourself along the way. Well, we are novice and amateur master. I know. Well, let's check the objectives. Sheriff Truett's zealous activities to enforce law and order have been making life difficult lately. His latest decree is a curfew where the, where the city gates must be locked from dusk to dawn. Find a route into Church Alley. Gillum told you Randall Gray is working on a new comedy. Gillum wants that script so he can publish it himself, find Gray's manuscript, and steal it. Churches mean tithes. Tithes mean lucrative opportunities for thieves, even in a poor district. Find the collection box and distribute its contents to the needy, yourself. A thief never stops looking for contributions to that all-important retirement fund. Steal at least 600 loot. When you finish your night's work, join Gillum in his apartment in the southeast. Go to Amateur. What's changed? 850 loot. And where a thief does a murderer, don't kill anyone. You're an expert. 1100 loot and there's a new objective. Church Alley is a small district and strangers are easily recognised. You can't run the risk of being identified. Avoid all confrontations with the locals. And yeah, I don't like the sound of doing that on stream, like not being seen by anybody. Hmm. Oh, thanks. And, you know, my normal don't kill anyone. I'll, I'll stick with the hard amateur record here. Uh, which I normally say on so I can kill people if it comes to tight spot, but this is a small mission. There shouldn't be too many tight spots, and I'm good at running away. So I'll stick here and I won't kill anyone. Alright. Have a look at it there. What was that? What? <laughs> Ow! I said I'm gonna run away, but I didn't expect to be having to run away immediately right, right off the bat. In a tightly enclosed area. Hello, don't Charge. mind me. Hey. Criminal scum! Oh, no! This is not going well. Ah. Thief! Stop him! Come out here now! It's not working. Well, he doesn't seem to be able to pathfind in here. Maybe that's maybe that's both good. I wasted a flash bomb, but uh, no. Nope. Oh, it's dark in here. You can't see me now. Well, all right. Uh, Come back here and fight. <laughs> I'll, I'll. It's a bit un. <laughs> unexpected, but I'll take it. Yeah. Everything's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait till you find me. Uh, well, that wasn't my finest hour, or I give my finest five minutes. All right. You can come and sit in the dark here. It's surprisingly dark in this corner. Oh, they're still hunting. Yeah, I'm not... You have that sword out and it kind of made this nice big gash in me earlier on. I'm not convinced you're not going to hurt me. Yeah, they're still aggravated.
that sounds like calmer footsteps. This is your last chance. Step out here. I won't hurt you. Well, I don't know whether he had the door opening or what, but he's uh, offset again. It's definitely on edge. The one on the street seems happy enough now, but uh, maybe the one. Just on the wait till I find you. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, everyone's so on edge. I don't know how you're supposed to dismiss him without ever being seen by anyone, considering how. Uh, Ow! Yeah, I might have to restart, you know. Yeah, you're making me mad, you know. This is your last chance. Step out here. Where did he go now? Yeah, if you have to avoid being seen by anybody, considering you start off in a tiny alley with nowhere to go and a guard walking straight down towards you, it's uh, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to. Handle that situation, and everyone else is uh, so crap. There's not room to get around anybody. But I guess it's this this waiting around is a good way to make a tiny mission last a bit longer. I guess. Come on, give up there. Flickering lights everywhere. Drink. Great, I've got you this time. Yeah, so, 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 Surprisingly well to do apartment for such a tiny floor space. I'd rather he doesn't hear me. There's tile floor there is, and there's really nowhere to go. I'll get you stuck on the table here. Well, that door doesn't open. What have we got in here? Anything at all? No, okay, just a dark room. Well, you know, oh, I've only got one more, so I might as well you. Why not? Why not? Tile floors are such a nuisance. I really should get most of it. Aha, uh -huh, this is more like the size of it. What have we got here? City gate key. Sheriff Troy has ordered that all city gates be locked at dusk so as to prevent undesirables from robbing the richer districts. That's all very well, but where does that leave me? Half the undesirables in the city must live on my patch. There's also poor Wilbur, the caretaker for the apartments in Church Alley. <coughs> <coughs> no, I'm not going to write that in my diary. He lives somewhere by the docks and almost always leaves several hours after dark. What is he supposed to do to get home? I don't think Sheriff Troy has thought this plan through very well. Oh well, orders are orders. I'll keep the key close at hand in case of stragglers. Dante can make me if anyone calls. Uh, wake me if anyone calls. As I expected, there were several people waiting for me when I unlocked the gates this morning. Undoubtedly, some of them will be trapped on the wrong side again tonight. I wonder where they're sleeping. Maybe I should find out and have them arrested for vagrancy. Sheriff Schwartz has paid a good commission on prisoners lately. The shells that sells at Shoalsgate must be full by now. Turns out that the good brother Jacob is giving shelter to people stuck after the curfew. Damn. I can't assume them a vagrancy if they're not sleeping on the streets. Maybe I should have a quiet word with the fellow. He should be pleased to have that broken window replaced at last. How long has it been like that? Brother Jacob turned me down. Who would have thought it? Me, a warden. 
Misguided notions of charity and hospitality may be all very well for the religious types, but he's getting in the way of my commission money. Maybe there's some way I can have the good brother disposed of. Well, what a nice pleasant fellow you are. Uh, Alright, let's hope I can, uh... Yep. Let's listen for the footsteps. <clears throat> Alright, going, going away now, but... But I'm getting stuck on the steps. Ooh. Right, you're not gonna be a problem for me anymore. I thought I saw... something. No, 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 there's nothing to see. <clears throat> no. Another another soldier. Is it? Who was that and where? Hmm. Ah, oh, there I see. All right. Well, here's the gate key. So I needed to get through here. It's not dark enough for my- Stop right there! Oh wait, who are you? Where did you come from? I'm gonna run back to my bed. Yeah, 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 you gave me a shock. Actually, I don't think you will find me. Right, I'm gonna use one of these on here because uh, that's lighting me up too much, I think. Well, they both are, damn it. I'm looking at all these lights everywhere. So there's somebody right there. Alright, I'm gonna make a run for it. Dark here. What's that sound? It's the sound of a torch going fish. <laughs> well, awesome. Yeah, it's getting so filthy lately. Isn't it? Now, there's some notices on those market stalls, but I'm not sure I can actually uh, get around to see them. Yeah. <laughs> Standing there watching. <laughs> Somebody else is patrolling. The air is getting so filthy lately. Sounds like they're walking into a wall. Alright, um. Can I get up there now? I'm trying to figure out where I can go, where I won't just be instantly spotted. Oh, yeah, that's a market, that's a market stall license. <laughs> Fruit and veggies, household goods. <laughs> I don't even have a map. Did I check my map? I didn't check my map. Uh, right, that's the gate. Oh, where does it say through gun? Oh, right, that's the way I got in. Yeah, that's right. I started there. Uh, Gillum's place is... Oh, great. So we can have the guard sitting here in the window. We have a guard just standing here. We have another guard that kind of patrols up here. Alright. Uh, uh, oh, we gotta steal the church's collection money. Hmm. At Gillen's place, I guess I'll have the script. Alright, let's try to get into the blue boar if we can. Oh, you're the one I can hear walking. Because you're stuck. Isn't that nice for me? Oh no, it's not nice for me, because you have one of those... 
Bloody helmets that don't work. Yeah, I'm afraid you might. God damn it. Well, at least he's not stuck anymore. Don't have a gas out or anything useful. I don't think you are. Well, I'm getting back to bed. You know, this city is just not really made for the likes of me. Oh, look, you can't find me. Damn, where'd he go? Who knows? It's a dead end corridor with only one room at the end of it. Where could he possibly have gone? I'll turn you up soon enough. Uh, you're not looking in the right place, mate. Uh. Oh, we made this mission was a sadist. Not only am I not allowed to kill anyone, not only is it cramped everywhere, not only are there guards everywhere. But then I'm not allowed to kill anyone, and I can't even knock him out. What are you supposed to do with the bloody archer in that room there? Who's making that noise? Oh, nobody's making that noise. You imagined it. Well, I hopefully can at least knock you out. Yes. Good. One good result at least. Oh, there's a locked door. Who's out of here? Another guy. Well, that must be Gillen's place there. But in here, I think... We have another guard to deal with. Oh, also got some valuables. No, this doesn't lead to the guards, please. This leads to room where somebody's asleep upstairs. Oh, I don't want to turn your lamp on. How to count the sheep? A guy for insomniacs. This should fetch a nice prize. What do we got? Practical magic. The life and times of a master thief. A beginner's field guide to barracks. A potted history of the city. Well, I can't get up there and. Uh, Disturb them, their counting sheep must have worked quite well. Alright, here we are back on the sea streets. So, I guess there's no way I'm going to knock them out. So, I uh, guess I'll just leave them to, leave them to it. That's the church on my right. I'm going to make that a nice dark corner as well. What? Think Nothing, nothing. Something very odd going on with this door. It's making uh, noises. As if it's opening, but it's not opening. Hmm. Something there? No, there's nothing there. I don't know why you would imagine ever that there might be something there. Are they stuck again? They are stuck again. The pub's open now. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I don't want you sounding the alarm, so I'm gonna put you in the corner there. Oh, there's nothing in the pub. Alrighty. Just a valuable mask left lying in the corner. Of course. Can I climb up anywhere? Hmm. Can I get break into the church without him noticing me? Picking the lock right behind him. Apparently I can.
Right, let's close the door so I don't hear a, a friend out there. Constantly walking, at least not quite so loudly. Oh, not the tree, I want the valuables. Oh, and there's micro banners, but they must be slashed like all other banners. Because, of course, they are still a species of banner. All banners must die by order of. I don't know, by order of me, Garrett. Where do you keep your valuables? Uh, well, that's also valuable. Where's, where's your collection box? Someone down there. Some noise, snoring, and dramatic music. Aha! There we are. We've got 735. We need 850. And now that was the collection money. Where do you keep your collection money? Maybe in the vestry. Well, do you know there's another banner? Die! Thank you. Crypt key. Scroll, it says. Uh, a bunch of money. Damn, it's growing dark and the gates will be locked. I'll have to take this to First City Bank and Trust first thing in the morning. It should be safe enough here in the vestry. Yes, it should. Warden Crawford tells me that the Sheriff has ordered the city gates be locked at dusk every night. I fail to see what Tr Sheriff Truett hopes to gain by such a petty degree. I saw a good number of people bedding down in doorways tonight as they locked up after Evensong. Trapped by the locked city gates. The warden has refused to open the gates to them, so they have no alternative but to sleep on the streets. I've opened the church crypts to them. No one should have to be out in this weather. It's chilly and cramped down there, but it's warmer than the streets. We took delivery of the skull of St. Tristan this morning. I'm so thrilled to be granted custody of such a priceless relic. It is a sign from the builder that our work here has been fruitful. Praise be to the builder. Brother Ahab was overjoyed as he settled the skull in the crypt. He has not ceased singing and chanting all day. The collection takings were especially good today. The arrival of St. Tristan seems to have inspired new fervor amongst our flock. If this keeps up, perhaps we will have sufficient funds to repair that window soon. Randall Gray came to see me this afternoon to show me his latest play. He has talent, and his work is a joy to read. Perhaps he will agree to write a play for us to perform in the church. The inspirational tale of St. Yorah should be a good topic. I'll drop by this evening to ask him. Ah, uh, even though our work here is our calling, the day of rest is still always welcome. Brother Ahab spent most of the day in the crypts praying to St. Tristan. The good brother's faith is a lesson to us all. Warden Crowther dropped in for a chat. It's always a pleasure to learn to talk to a man of learning. I was pleased to discover that he's as concerned as I am about those left homeless by the new curfew. I assured him that they are being given a place to sleep with us, but I hope the curfew is ended soon. We have been deceived. The warden's concern was just a front. He came to me today all weasel words and sly nods. He insinuated that I, a hammerite, might consider betraying the builder's hospitality for money. Apparently the good sheriff pays his wardens a bounty for the capture of vagrants, and he wants me to lock the church doors against those poor stranded souls each night. The very thought. I feel unaccountably uneasy today. I hear scuffles behind me, and yet when I turn around there is no one there. Brother Rahab can see and hear nothing. Perhaps I have angered the builder. I will do an extra penance this evening in atonement. New objectives. Never pass up the chance to acquire valuable trinkets for your fence. Find the skull of St. Tristan and steal it. I guess I will be making a trip to the crypts after all. Why don't you sleep on the altar? It looks comfy. That way you look like a sacrifice of some kind. Maybe that shall be your penance. Steps. As well as a lot of snoring. Huh? Oh, <sighs> Sleep well, friends. A body! Help! Help! No, it's not a body, imagine it. Hello, dewdrop! Whoops, I didn't mean throw it away. I don't want hammers. I don't need a fire. There is a banner. Let's make sure I hit the banner and not him. Alright. 
You're alright, I don't need to kill these people. Obviously, I shouldn't be killing anyone. But uh, none of you have any money, do you? Oh, what's this? Oh, there's money. Do you have any, Do you have anything on you to pick any pockets? Nope, nope, nope. Alright, let's go deeper into the crypt then. And find this skull. Where's our crypt key? Whoa. A door opens with dramatic slowness. Ah, uh, there's our jolly friend who's so pleased they have the skull of Saint. Whatever. I don't know. I only heard it's valuable, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Would you like another relic? A valuable lump on the head? Yeah, well, that was a. That was a bit fail. Oh, you've got a key as well. Same one. You can sit there in the darkness. That's not a skull. What? Oh, it's a loot gold. Finish okay. Um, there's valuables. Is that a trap? Probably not. But who knows? You can never be too careful. I like the ceilings, yeah? Hello, Scully. So the random changes of ambience is uh, very weird, but okay. Okay, I'll, I'll take it, whatever. Yeah, finding my way around. All these bodies, is that? Yeah, I thought it was a secret door, but it's just a weird lighting corner. Alright, well, we've got all the money we needed to take. We've robbed the church completely. Oh, there's the broken window. I see. I guess that's supposed to be a way in. Maybe it can be a way out. I have a rope arrow. With very, very small beams. But I have good aim. I may have good aim, but I can't climb the rope. Yeah, I don't care if you do. You can't get me here. Come back here, damn it! No, all right, that's that's Gillum's house. Now I was confused because I was thinking Gillum was the one we needed to rob, but no, it's uh, what's his face? It doesn't say here, but it said in the in the bloody guy's diary in there, there in the church. Stupid! It's probably just some rookie. Awkward, isn't it? Do you ever turn around? Or is dropping down here going to be a problem for me being able to get back? Because I want to knock you out. Yeah. Oh, you sort of turn around. Well, I turn around enough for my lucky turn. Turn right around. What? Oh, that'll do. There's a constantly walking friend over there, but I shall have to leave them be. Hmm. There's a house there. Well, I don't want to get seen by him. Get in here or here? Apparently not. All right. I think I need to open that door. Oh, I do have a noisemaker. Ah, oh, you gave yourself away that time. Watch my out of my eye while I do this. Hope it keeps me distracted long enough. God, this is quite a lock. Come on. Yes. 
Alright, I don't know if this is the house I need to steal things from, but I'm in it. So I can only hope. That door doesn't open. It's got enormous glasses, so it must be valuable. Etiquette for the lower nobility. Oh, what's this? Who's this? Apartment 3, Mrs. Jane Fletcher. Note from Mrs. Fletcher. To the caretaker, there is a wine stain on the bedside rug in my apartment. Please clean it up as soon as possible. I will be available to open the door for you from 8 onwards. Do not disturb me before this time. Mrs. Fletcher, apartment 3. And what do we got here? A little, uh, palmery? By the builder I'm bored. Nothing but sweeping and scrubbing and relighting that infernal torch in the lounge. I wish I could stop it fluctuating so badly. And Mrs. Fletcher always ordering me around, telling me how to do my own job. I wouldn't mind, but it's not as if she's some fine lady for all her airs and graces. I wish I could find work with some rich lord. It would be lovely to work in a warm mansion where I'd have my own room. Perhaps I'll go over to Newport and see if there's any households willing to take me on. I wouldn't keep getting stuck on the wrong side of the gates after curfew then. I hate having to explain myself to the warden, and the bribes are getting expensive. Better go, Mrs. Fletcher's calling again. I wonder what she wants this time. To buy. Five coppers, new broom head, two coppers, cleaning rags, one silver, soap. Ah. I feel kind of bad for robbing from you. Alright, so this was a tiny little apartment building with a hard to pick lock. Which was not the one I needed, so kind of a waste of my. Uh... What's that? Lord Edward Gilbert. Kind of a waste of my little uh... arrow there, that's alright. He won't see me, I don't think. That's not a door I can go in. Do I want to go down? Oh, he does see me. Come back here. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Well, maybe he can't get me down here. Here's is Mr. Randall Gray's apartment. Find you. This, find you. His pathfinding problems may finally be to my advantage. Where's my where's my lockpicks? Swear I had them a minute ago. Yeah, he's... He's not gonna find me down here. Thankfully. Uh, he's already given up and he's gonna go back to his... walking in place, though. Mm. Well, he's actually walking, he's elsewhere. I don't see that. Oh uh, well, you know, sometimes the tiny cramped quarters are... Uh, are to my benefit. What with the uh, guards not being able to pathfind the places where I'm hiding. Oh, there he goes. Alright, well, let's go in before he sees me. Alright, Mr. Randall Gray. What do you got there? Oh, that's not valuable. Damn this curfew, I've run out of coffee and I can't get through the gate to buy more. Looks like it'll have to be an early night. Can't keep my eyes awake. At least I had a good night's sleep. Back to work. Brother Jacob was whistling this morning as he took the service. I wonder what has him so happy. I must remember to show him the latest scenes of my play. I think he'd like it. Brother Jacob didn't like my play. He wants me to write a play about Set Yora instead. I will not listen to him. I am an artist, and my genius shall not be stifled. Mrs. Fletcher from number three came down to see me this afternoon. She said the caretaker hasn't turned up today. Apparently there is a nasty stain on her rug and she wanted it cleaned before some guests arrive tonight. She has many guests who come and go at all hours of the night. I wonder what purpose brings them here, as the hours they keep her on for merely social calls. Perhaps Mrs. Fletcher isn't so respectable as she would like to make out. Hmm, what's this? His script. Crumpled up with her own waste paper basket, as well along with the note. Randall, I've read the scenes you gave to me. You have a talent, my friend, but I think you need to concentrate on a more serious subject matter. Whilst comedies are doubtless popular with many folk who know no better, your art requires a weightier vehicle. I feel a dramatization of the life of St. Yora may be a worthier subject that would also prove educational for the children of the parish. Perhaps we should meet to discuss the project. With the builder's blessing, Brother Jacob. Alright, well, we have the money, we have the church money, we have the script. Ah, uh, we just, we have the skull, we just have to go back to Gillum's place. Now, apart from our 
one friend up here, everyone else I believe is uh, unconscious. So, if I can distract him, I can get out again. I'm out of water arrows. Let's see if, uh... I heard that, you! I'll find you! Yeah, well, that worked. You wait. <laughs> Alright. Here we are at Gillum's. Aha! Uh, hello, my friend. What happens if I knock you out? We win the mission if I knock you out. Well done. Stats. Well, we missed a couple of pockets. Uh, we didn't kill anyone. One body discovered by an enemy who was asleep, uh, but uh, was very good at dreaming of what was happening next to him. And uh, we missed a little bit of loot. Uh, all right. That was plagiarism. Um, which was for another contest. Uh, Keep your medal and gold contest five, I think. But I, again, I don't remember what uh, the purpose of contest five was. Uh, but thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you here for the next mission. Hopefully, the next one will be a longer one.